What's going on guys? It's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be talking about why I stopped affiliate marketing and when I say affiliate marketing I mean why I stopped my affiliate marketing niche websites. I know some of the people on the channel have been around for a while and they've seen my old videos about my niche websites and affiliate marketing but today I'm going to tell you why I stopped and just give you guys an update on that side of things if you were around back when I made those videos a few months ago. But before you leave, if you weren't here a few months ago, I'll tell you guys the rundown real quick. Pretty much, I started my, you know, affiliate marketing websites back in, I believe, September. And I made three of them, three niche down affiliate marketing websites for different niches. And these are websites where I posted about 30 articles of a thousand words uh, with containing reviews and lists of, you know, the top things in that niche and educational content to rank on Google in the long term. However, these were not really performing very well. My Amazon Affili Associates account also got shut down due to not making any sales, um, you know, or not enough sales. I only made a few commissions from Amazon Affiliates. It was very small, but my Amazon Associates account actually got closed down and these websites just weren't getting any traffic. And even now, you know, eight months later, um, when they should be ranking for SEO a little bit, um, I didn't really do that SEO that great and I don't want to put in the time to grow these websites personally where I could use my time rather to you know grow my YouTube channel grow my friend of my business and put my money or my not my time put my time more or less where I'm already making money uh, rather than into something I don't really know that much about and that's why I have shifted away from my affiliate marketing websites for the most part another reason is I don't really like writing copy and if you don't know what copy is basically uh, copywriting is pretty much getting someone to buy something um, and in a lot of these niche websites I had no interest in these products I had no you know association with them personally I didn't really even know half um, you know I didn't own really any of them and I don't want to promote something that I don't really own or personally use it's not really just it just does not feel good and I don't want to be the person driving sales to things that I don't even know if they're that good of a product, right? And to me, that's the dilemma over there as well. If I'm gonna make a niche-based website, um, affiliate marketing website, I would make it about something I am passionate about looking forward. And honestly, the only form of affiliate marketing I like doing is like something like this on my YouTube channel where I have links down below and whether or not you use my link or not, um, it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm giving you guys links to go to the tools that I'm using because I think it's helpful to have down there and I might as well put my link down there, save you 20% and give me a commission, right? Um, that's the type of affiliate marketing I like because I actually like these products, I use them. So I'm gonna give them and tell you guys which ones I use and for that I get a commission and that's the type of affiliate marketing I wanna stick to, just simple, basic. You know, I like this product, I would you know suggest that you buy it if you want to and just put it down there for your if you want to click it and that's pretty much why um, the niche websites they're not really about that they're kind of about making content and every time you make content you're making content with the intention of selling something and that's not really what I want to do I didn't find it fun writing a thousand word articles or reviews on things I didn't even own um, it's very tedious and kind of annoying especially when you aren't interested in those niches whatsoever and for that reason, I decided that I would stop doing affiliate marketing and start focusing more on print demand, my YouTube channel, and anything else that pretty much wasn't affiliate niche marketing. Um, and those websites also do cost money to host. Not that that is a big amount of money, but I'm not going to be hosting them next year or I'm not going to keep the domains. I might try to sell the websites, but I'm not sure exactly how to do that. And I'm not sure if they're really worth anything. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So one last reason why I stopped doing affiliate marketing, I stopped it, um, is because I don't feel good about doing it. And if I don't feel good about doing it, I'm not passionate about it, it's gonna be really, really hard to pump out 1,000 word articles, like I mentioned before, um, every single day and every single week after week after week. You know, I did it for about 80 days straight and it was not fun, I must say. Um, I don't really have much to show for other than the fact that I know I don't want to do it really. Um, I would rather focus my time on these other things that I mentioned. And if you guys are doing affiliate marketing niche websites 
and you really hate it, then honestly, I probably recommend you take a step back and look at what could be better suited to you or what could you be doing about your affiliate marketing business that would make it more interesting for you, whether that be switching your niche or whether that be talking about different content on your on your website. Um, there's a lot of different things you could look into. Um, blogging is essentially affiliate marketing, a lot of blogging. Um, there are ways to write about your life if you have some kind of interesting perspective or viewpoint or point in your life that you could essentially make money off of because there are affiliate marketing products or products that you can affiliate with uh, pretty much everywhere in any single niche. Um, but yeah, the whole idea of you know affiliate marketing on niche websites is pretty nice. But I don't really find it that appealing for the amount of work you have to put in. You do not get that much back. Um, for example, over on Income School, their YouTube channel, they basically say to make like a thousand dollars a month, you have to write hundreds of articles and people are writing hundreds and hundreds of articles a year and their websites take forever to take off. They will take off if you do put in the time and the effort and you're passionate about your niche, but it is a lot of effort. It is going to take a lot of time. These websites can generate a full time income pretty easily uh, after you put in years of work or, you know, hundreds of hours of work, thousands maybe into your blog. Um, you can build them up and build a real business out of it. But for me, YouTube is where it's at. Um, print on demand, it's where it's at. And Amazon KDP is also where it's at. And that's where I want to make my money. That is what I have fun doing. So I'm going to continue doing that, continue building those streams of my income and sharing that with you guys on this YouTube channel. And one last thing before we go, I want to mention that I have started a financial YouTube channel. It is about investing in personal finance so if you want to check that out i'll leave it down in the description it is also about canadian finance a lot of it but most of these videos are going to be applying to a general audience and really they're going to be available to view for anyone um, except for the specific canadian uh, you know index funds and canadian finance information but a lot of the videos are going to be just finance in general and my habits and spending and investing so if you guys want to see that definitely go ahead and check that channel out but it's been your friend jack and i hope you guys enjoyed this video on my view on affiliate marketing and why i stopped my niche websites and maybe at some point i'll do an analytics review over you know the past eight or nine months on what they're doing now but they're not doing so hot only a few views per month so nothing crazy and with all that being said it's been your friend jack keep driving stay blessed Stay tuned for today's video later. It's going to be a store reviews on Redbubble. But with all that being said, see you guys in the next video.